Hi everyone, today we're talking about how to model with and solve one-step equations. As a reminder, you do not need to write down everything that we'll cover in this video, but be sure to jot down important information and at least one example of each type of problem that we cover. Also remember that you can pause the video to jot down important notes, rewind to view information again, and fast forward if you think you got it. Just be careful and make sure you don't fast forward too much that you miss out on something important. We talked about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division phrases last time when you're given a problem and you have to translate it into an equation. Today we're talking more about word problems. Um, so we're just adding to our list. Um, an additional phrase you want to add for addition is total because total tells you you're adding two different, three different things together. Subtraction phrases, um, you might hear remaining or left over. And multiplication and division phrases can be tricky. Um, both of them could use the phrase per or each. So per just means like each, like five miles per hour, five miles each hour. So be sure that you have these additional phrases jotted down in your notes before we go to some examples. All right, here is our first example. In this problem, we have Eva and Jameer baking cookies. Eva baked 24 chocolate chip cookies and Jameer baked pea, peanut butter cookies. Together they baked a total of 56 cookies. You have to write an equation to describe the situation and you have to figure out how many cookies Jameer baked. Go ahead and pause the video and try it on your own first. Okay. So Eva baked 24 cookies, chocolate chip cookies. Jameer baked pea peanut butter cookies. All together, they have a total of 56 cookies. So you have to write an equation. Total tells me that I'm adding things together. Eva baked 24, and Jameer baked who knows how many pea, amount of peanut butter cookies. But together, they baked 56 cookies. So this should be your equation. Eva's amount plus Jameer's amount gives us that total of 56. 24 plus P equals 56. Then you have to actually solve it. This is an addition problem, so the inverse operation would be subtraction. So we're going to subtract 24 from both sides to make that true statement. Make sure it's balanced, that cancels out. So P would equal to whatever the subtraction problem is. So P equals 32. P represented how much Jameer baked. So when they want to know how many cookies Jameer baked, we'll just write down 32. So we want to make sure that the answer we get is actually going to answer the problem that they asked us. All right, here is another problem. And it says Jada takes her dog Rolo to obedience training once a week. Jada bought a box of 96 dog treats and split them evenly into B bags. Each bag contains 16 treats. Write an equation to describe, describe this situation. How many bags of dog treats does Jada have? Go ahead and pause the video and try it on your own first. All right, so I have a box of 96 dog treats. She's splitting them evenly into B bags. Each bag contains 16 treats. So I know with splitting in each, I'm probably going to have multiplication or division. So sometimes I get confused, so I like to draw pictures. So in my big box, I have 96 dog treats. And what she's doing is she's splitting them into little baggies. It's like Ziploc bags. And in each of these Ziploc bags, there are 16 treats. So we want to know how many bags there are. So that means that 16 is in each of those bags. So if I had, let's say, I'm going to make up a number. If I had two bags, then I would take 16 and I would multiply by 2 to get my answer, right? And then that would be like 32 dog treats, 
right? But that's not the amount that we have. We actually have 96 total dog treats, and we don't know how many bags. So that's how I can kind of figure out the equation. I have 16 in each bag. I don't know how many bags, but I know I would actually multiply them together, multiply 16 by the number of bags to get the total. And remember, the total is 96. So this would be my equation here. Number of bags multiplied by 16 because each bag contains 16 inside. I don't know how many bags because they just told us B for that amount. But we do know after we multiply the number of bags by the 16, we're going to get 96 total. So this is going to be our equation. Now if you thought division, yeah, division is going to help us solve it because B multiplied by 16 inverse operation would be to divide by the 16 both sides. 16 divided by 16 will make that cancel. So b will equal to whatever 96 divided by 16 is. And I think that's maybe 4? Let's see, 16 times 4? Nope. If you have your calculator, it'll probably be easier. But I'm being stubborn right now. 6 times 6 is 36. Okay, 6 plus 3 is 9. Yeah, so it's 6. So the b is equal to 6. I just wanted to do that one by myself. You know, sometimes you just get like that. All right, so remember the key word here was splitting and each. However, it could be multiplication or division. Here it was multiplication because each bag had 16, so you had to make sure each of them it's going to be multiplied by 16. Let me know if you have any questions as you work on these problems, but remember it's always easier to just kind of draw out a picture and remember to use your inverse operations. If you don't have any questions, I'll see you in class.